Club, Paul Madden at the Yacht Channel. Uh, several years ago, I had a client from Singapore who wanted to purchase a steamship yacht that was built in 1921 in the United States for the Dodge family. It had been uh, restored from this state that you see here into a pristine mega yacht, over 250 feet long fantastic boat and it had the original steam engines in it so it was a very interesting survey and uh, I'm gonna just uh, show some of the pictures of the boat and give the history of the vessel and then I'll talk a little bit more about uh, the mechanics and what we found in the survey. Delphine was commissioned by Horace Dodge who was the car magnate uh, and it was built in 1921, so it's a century old, 100 years old. It was built by Great Lakes Engineering in Detroit, Michigan, which is not a uh, spot that you think of when you think of mega yachts. It was the largest American yacht uh, at that time. And it was, uh, unfortunately, uh, Horace Dodge died before it was launched. The Dodge family used it for a bit, but they had it in Brooklyn where it caught on fire and sank. And it was rebuilt at the uh, at what, what is now the Navy Yard, the Brooklyn Shipyard, uh, back to its original state. <clears throat> and then um, along came World War II and it was uh, requisitioned by the US Navy and it was renamed the USS Dauntless. It looked very cool as a warship. It, it was never in combat. Legend has it that President Franklin D. Roosevelt, Harry Truman, Molotov, presumably of the cocktail fame, and Winston Churchill enjoyed the hospitality of the yacht. And it is said that the Yalta Treaty was drawn up in the vessel's ornate smoking room. After the war, it went back to the Dodge family and they sold it in 1968. And it uh, sort of went downhill from there. It was not kept up. And it ended up uh, rotting in Marseille when a uh, Belgian family came along and bought it. And the Belgian fellow who was on board when we did the survey, he and his daughter did this incredible uh, refit on the boat where they went back and got uh, all the records and did all the research on the materials and the Tiffany lamps and the Tiffany glass and they restored it uh, to such a high level. Uh, reportedly they spent 40 million euros on the restoration and they did it all in Belgium. So it, it, it's quite a phenomenal uh, feat of what they did and the, the, the level of quality that they brought to it. And, and, and also doing it in Belgium. The result is quite spectacular. And she was rechristened in uh, September 2003 by Princess Stephanie of Monaco. Um, I said before it was 270 feet. I'm wrong, it's actually 258 feet long. So I'm just looking at the specs now, 78 and a half meters. It's got a beam of 35 feet. It's classed as a passenger vessel and that's very important because it has accommodations for 28 guests and you really, you have to have a passenger vessel classification and that is a very high level of classification and speaks to the safety and the systems on board the boat. And the design is very different from the yachts today because one thing it has is large promenade decks um, and they uh, really have deserve that name. It's, it's uh, similar to the old cruise ships and you just don't see it on yachts anymore. So it, it, that's a unique feature and it's quite wonderful on this vessel. It's got a big formal dining room that seats 28 and it's got uh, just these beautiful uh, wood bars very much in the sort of gentleman's club uh, style that you see on some of the classic Camper and Nicholson vessels. And going along with that, it's got leather button back Chesterfield furniture, which is uh, again a really nice touch. <clears throat> the staterooms are good size. Got, uh, the, the owner's stateroom is, is huge. VIP staterooms, um, uh, wonderful bathrooms with, mahog with mahogany paneling and marble. So, in a lot of ways, it's got the feel of a luxury hotel or a classic old uh, ocean liner. Uh, the newer touches, it's got a uh, it's got a gym, 
It's got a spa and a sauna with a full Turkish bath, a fully equipped hair salon. And the bridge is, uh, again, just a really classic yacht or ship's bridge. Really charming. So it, it has two of these steam engines. They're 1,500 horsepower each. And they're quadruple steam expansion engines. And these were actually developed and patented by the owner uh, Horace Dodge. So he was the uh, inventor of these engines. Interesting notes about the steam engines. Uh, obviously they don't have any carbon buildup and so they will run and last forever. And they get more efficient um, once they get all warmed up and heated up. So if you're going on a, on a transatlantic or a uh, long-range cruise your uh, efficiency and the fuel economy actually improves as you go along and uh, they, they don't have vibration they're they're extremely uh, practical and strong engines so our survey which is now uh, long out of date found that the steel work was in excellent condition um, this uh, steel hull is riveted and it uh, the superstructure is also steel it's not aluminum like on a current vessel and uh, Overall, it was just a uh, very impressive uh, experience to have a survey on Delphine and it's uh, one of the most interesting yachts ever built and it is now a hundred years old. And that's today's vessel review from the Yacht Channel. Uh, please subscribe if you want to uh, get notices about other yacht reviews, other reports uh, from the maritime sector and news.